Hi there. It's um, half past ten on the 3rd of October. Can you believe it? We're in October already. I don't know where this year's going. And uh, I don't know about where you are, but we've got some beautiful sunshine at the moment. So that makes it a lot happier. Um, there's quite a bit going on at the moment in the world of stamping up so i thought i'd first of all go through some of those things with you um the biggest thing obviously this is um the start of stamping up's new year we run october to the end of september so stamping up is officially 35 years old this year and as part of that for october starting today until the end of the month they've released a well two joining offers they're both really good i've never seen anything like it um and i've been a demo for just over nine years um i wish actually that i could have not been a demo and then i'd have joined but um so i'm just gonna i did send out an email yesterday to those on my mailing list so i'm just gonna Give you some brief details um so for this month it's 35 percent off the starter kit so the starter kit is normally 130 pounds for 99 pound um so it's 35 percent off of that which takes it down to 64 pounds 35p or 83 85 euros um and you get 130 pounds worth of goods for that so of any of your choice out of the annual catalog and the celebrate you know the um christmas catalog or so that's the one the first offer the get 35 percent off or you can take a different offer and get 35 percent more so for 99 pounds you get £175.50 worth of product. Fantastic. Um, euros, that's €129, Euros and you get £236.25. So, you know, if you're interested in joining up, just to get that offer even, you know, so uh, you can literally join, take advantage of all those free goodies, and then, you know, place some orders, whatever orders you want, you'll get 20% off. Um, and that will take you until, I believe it's a minimum of three months, but I think it will go until the following quarter. So the end of March. Um, and also, as a bonus, um, 11th of November, there is a virtual um on stage event um and that's valued at 72 pounds i've paid 72 pounds for that so uh um you get that free great so that's really really good um say if you want any more information then either pop onto my website or then um, drop me a line and i'll I'll go through it with you. That's no problem. There's some other things that have happened. Some new um, Christmas kits have come in, but I'll show you those when I turn the the um, camera around. The other thing, obviously, is on um, Saturday, the seventh. I think it's Saturday, one o'clock till four p.m. World, world card making day so again there's a free crafting event you can register or you can just join at the time it's, it'll be there will be a link there um again that's totally free um on my um stamping up website so melbrown.stampingup.net there will be a link on there um but i believe i've also put it on facebook I don't remember whether I've sent an email. I might well have done. Okay, so there's a couple of really good offers coming up. Um, I'm just going to take a slurp of my coffee. 
uh, the other things are there will be some new online exclusives come in in November. We're getting a chance to have a look at those at the moment. Um, but there's always more than what we see. So uh, they'll, they'll be interesting to see. Some of those are Christmassy. Um, so, yeah, so lots going on. OK, um, what I'm going to do is turn the camera around and I'll show you these um, the new kits and uh, we'll go from there. OK. Right, just bear with me while I move the camera. Okay, so let me just uh, find these these new kits. It won't take long. So this is the first one, and it's um, it's basically they're like little pocket envelopes, and you've got pegs and um, decorations. And the number, so it's like a little advent calendar. So that's rustic Christmas countdown. Um, I think that image. There you go. You can see the uh, little pockets. So that's really cute. That one's eighteen pounds. Oh, I think I've gone too far now. Um, and then this one is a card kit when it decides it's going to open up for me probably won't let me just oh, that's because it's logged me out bear with me i've just got to log back in two seconds when i log back in Okay, so that's that's the uh, the one that I've just shown you. Um, let me just go back into the Christmas. Just jumping about this morning, I think there's, there's a lot going on. Christmas everywhere kit. is a um it's a, a card kit so it's nine cards you just find it there it is so you can see it's um you get a stamp set with it you get a little ink pad there's your stamp set ink pad everything basically that you need in there to um to make those nine cards and that one <coughs> excuse me is 20 pounds okay so that's uh those offers and the new stamp set now this morning um god i decided i wanted to do a pinwheel card i love making these and um this one i've done using some of the speciality <coughs> DSP. Sorry, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat now. Um, and the Merriest Trees stamp set and dies. This tag is also out of the same. So that's what I'm going to make. But I'm going to be using the Berry Christmas because I love that one. So just. Uh, find the right bits okay so for the actual pinwheel you need one piece of cardstock that measures six inches by four and a quarter okay and that is 15.2 centimetres by 10.8. OK, 
okay and then where's this one i've done all in one color and you would use then another three pieces at three inches by four and a quarter this one i've decided to do in two tones so you would need one which is three inches by four and a quarter or 7.7 7 centimeters by 10.8 and then two in a coordinating color so this one i've used knight of navy and real red and pop those out the way for a moment so to i'm just going to bring in my scoring board for the actual pinwheel itself for the mechanism for that you need to score along the long side at three quarters one and a half two and a quarter and three that's obviously in inches um let's see if i can work out the centimeters while we're here so about mm, 19 millimeters so 1.9 centimeters then 3.8, 5.7, 7 7.6. Okay, and the sun's obviously gone in behind a clay, so I'm just going to open the blinds a little bit, put a bit more light on it. Okay, so now that I've scored that, that's all the scoring involved. I'm just going to burnish the fold lines so if you've uh, let me know that if you're watching pop a comment in the um, in the comments field because I can't I can see that there are a couple of people but I can't see names at the moment from sitting down but do say hello and let me know you're there okay so just put some glue on this edge here and then folding it round you can either fold it round and make a square like this or you can literally just fold it over okay and that's the basis of the pinwheel now for each of the other bits, we're just going to glue those on here so it's easier to put the glue on this bit. And because I'm using Tombow, it's, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room just to move it into place. Okay. Now for the other blue one. It does hold pretty quickly, so um, it's perfect for doing this. Okay. And then the last one. Now they are butted up against the one in front okay so that's your basic pinwheel just let that dry for a moment and um right i've got as i said i was going to be using the berry berry christmas so i've got various bits of DSP pattern paper and 
Um, I'm going to not really worked out exactly what I'm going to put where but I am going to do some stamping just so that we've got some bears ready and these are the photopolymer so we need a cushion a bit of a mat underneath it just to just so that you get a nice even stamped image just going to do a couple of these I don't know how many I want yet but I'm doing them here so that it's easy then to cut them out with the the um, the punch just give that one a bit of a clean um, there are some other ones this cute little cute little baby one This one doesn't have a punch, but I think, I'm hoping I should be able to fussy cut it. And then there's one sitting down as well, which again, will need fussy cutting if I'm going to use it. So going to put that back on there all right um but what i will sh just show you quickly is the fact there is um it's christmas trees and there's various animals you see that you can fussy cut straight out anyway and this bear here does coordinate with the punch So I think first of all what I'm going to do is cut some patterned paper so that we can add it on to the add it onto these. So you want just get my measurements again. You want four at four inch by two and three quarter inches and four at four inch by two inches okay so it's so we'll have some some snowflakes okay, i'm gonna do a two inch four inches so that's one of those that bit's too short now but that's fine I don't, I don't think I need another one of those this one here is a lovely snowflake pattern as well so I'm gonna cut one like that. We've got some. These are like focus. These remind me. They're like Christmas jumpers. Um, so I'm going to use these bigger, and then use. Um, I want one like this for. Um, like a mat so a background and then i'll put a a stamped sentiment mat on it so that's one of the larger ones and i might cut two of those just just so that we've got some cut And then we can have 
have some a present one. Again, you, you can use you know, you can decorate these in any way you want. Um, there's no sort of set set way to do it. I'm going to have a big big blue snowflakes. So that's four of those. So. Um, another one of these two inch by four and will you see this one again because it's already half cut Okay, so for matting, it's really straightforward. Let's just squash that down. You know, these are just going to literally be glued on like this. I mean, you've got footprints if you wanted on the other side of this one, which is quite cute. I might do one of those actually. So you have um, about an eighth of an inch border all the way round, the same as you do with my normal layers of cards. Okay, I'll put this one on. Again, this is another great fun fold that can be used for any occasion. Um, really simple for you know for kids to learn. I think I will do that. I'm gonna have to have put glue on here. Yeah, you know, my daughter loves making these sort of cards. Last one will stick with the little snowflakes. Okay. This one's just a bit more, I've got to decide now what I'm doing in a bit more detail. So I'm going to first of all cut these out. That's the easy ones. Um, I'm going to leave that for a moment. I'm not sure if I'm going to fussy cut anything out of there. We'll wait and see. I'm going to put that on here. So there's lots of nice presents on there. Now this one, I'm not going to do that one, I'm going to do this one here. And 
and then the blue ones will have the red Christmas jumper on. I think this is definitely my favourite set at the moment. I've used it more than the other ones that I've bought. Okay, so that's now looking a bit more Christmassy. And the stamp set. I'm going to just, just cut down a piece of white cardstock, so three and a half. Maybe a bit little. Um, okay. So I want a. No, I want it three and a half, so that's okay. By two and a quarter. So you don't have a massive area to write on. You could do it a bit bigger than that, but you want to be able to see some of the some of the pattern paper behind, really. Or at least I do. Okay, so I'm going to just grab my stamping mat and a bit of grid paper and a block. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my my um, photos recently, but I've managed to get most of my craft room back together. It's still still got quite a lot of stuff to sort out, but at the moment it's probably the tidiest it's been for a long time, and I'm gonna. Hopefully, keep it that way. Okay, so I've just stamped Warm Wishes in Night of Navy. And I think what I'll do, instead of cutting out the little bear, I'm just going to stamp him down the bottom here. And that's in Memento Ink. Okay. So obviously that's all right as long as you haven't got too many names to go on there. Place that there so that can be your you know who it's to and who it's from bit. And then you will want something on something on the front. Um mm -hmm. Want a smaller Happy Christmas? I'm sure I must have one somewhere here. Just bear with me. I've got quite a few stamp sets. But, um, for Christmas, I just need to need to find the right one. Uh, 
Oh dear, I've got lots of different ones. I can't make up the mind. Okay, this one is actually one from last year, but it is still in the main catalogue. This is quite nice if it's um, a family group, you know, to you and yours at this Christmas. That one's more wintry. Again, this one here has got to you and yours. It's quite a tiny little bit. That one's... Okay. Does this fit? This is the case. that It will fit just about, so I'm going to use this one. on a piece of white again it's in Night of Navy now if I stamp it quite close to the bottom I'll be able to cut round it And, you know, it doesn't have to be straight. You won't really notice it quite so much once you're, once it's on the card. And you can guarantee that whoever you give it to won't notice it. There were some sparkly bits as well. Now I've put my... Oh, there it is. I can't find anything at the moment. I'm <laughs> um, getting used to... I've sorted out all the cupboards and the drawers, so it's... It's getting used to where I've put everything again. Um, right, I've got some dimensionals, so I'm just going to pop a couple on there. I think... I might even put that on this one. And it doesn't have to be straight. Say if you put it on a bit of a angle, then it probably makes it look as though it's straighter than if it was lined up perfectly. And we have... Um, a little scarf. That can just go on the polar bear, stop him from being quite so cold. And I think... I think I've put him on there. With a couple of dimensionals and it's just, he's just looking at, looking at all the presents, I think. And then you've got your, sentiment, your um, layer for, writing on and then you've got two more sides that you can um, stick things on so I'm just just going to have a look see whether okay I wasn't planning on fussy cutting anything quite this 
this big but I will I actually had a um, scan and cut machine for my birthday which is now set up on my desk but I haven't used it to scan and cut anything yet But it will be perfect for doing things like this amongst lots of other stuff so i think it must be about i don't know nine ten weeks is it till christmas have you started your christmas shopping Started making Christmas cards if you make them. Do let me know. Do feel free to comment and let me know what you're getting up to, whether you whether you have lots of little ones to buy Christmas presents for nowadays or whether everyone's grown up like a most of my family are. Everything's, uh, they want money or they want really expensive texture. So, uh, most of my Christmas shopping is going to be mainly giving money to people. And even though my kids are growing up, Max is 17, Ruby's still quite young, she's only 13, but she's, we still put, still put the mince pie and everything out for Father Christmas, just in case, you know. As I said to him before, you never know whether the time that you do it, don't do it, whether he won't come. So we still put things out. We still have our advent calendars and um, Christmas, well, Christmas sacks we have rather than rather than stockings, and it's uh, massive. They're bigger than pillowcases, so it costs quite a lot of money just to fill those up. It was easier when they were little because you could put, you know, colouring books and you know, lots of little little bits in there that took up quite a bit of room without costing a fortune. But now it's it costs a lot more. And uh, I will be starting to make the Christmas cake I guess next too so my mother-in-law always used to make the Christmas cake and a few years back probably about four years ago maybe maybe a bit longer I started making the Christmas cake um, and Christmas pudding, so. Okay, so we've just got a fine sink, really. You can do things on these bits as well if you want, but I'm just going to fine sink now to put on there. Um, might do is put. Oh, this. See if we can cut these out. I'm not the greatest at fussy cutting. Some people seem to be able to do it and get it so spot on. 
but um, I'm not one of those. It's all right, really, when you're not not on a live. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I do have to concentrate a bit when I'm cutting. So, uh, these aren't quite so bad because they're not too fiddly, it's nice, big, bold. Images without too much to fiddle around. So if you are catching this later on the replay then you know do feel free to put comments on the post because I do come back and look at it and uh, I will will respond to any comments, any questions. It'd be interesting to know what other people do for Christmas, whether you're whether it's a big family thing or we've always um <clears throat> always spent Christmas Day with my my parents um, we lost dad just before Covid so it's not quite the same anymore I've also got a nephew that was born on Christmas Day 20 oh God, 20 well 1999 so a few years ago now. Right, I'm just going to get this scarf and I'm going to put the blue scarf on him. I'm going to have to stand up and line that back up. Just Clean that off a bit. And I think I'll put a red scarf just to tie in the red. That looks, even though it's an old pad, it looks as though it's a really juicy one. So. Mm, so I've made a bit of a blob on there, it'll be okay. And I don't know whether this little hat, we've got a little, just trying to find my smaller, I don't know where it is, my smaller one. We've got a little tiny hat that I could stamp, but I'm not, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave the hat for now. Okay, so this is like all the bears, maybe I'll put him over there. You can put them so they're all going, maybe they're joining this one that's sat down waiting for them. pop him there and just cut some bits of this up because it's not worth chucking it away So 
you can be going there and then this one looks like a cheery little chap can be following along on there and I don't know about you but I do like a bit of sparkle so I'm going to put some more sparkly bits on Just to add a bit of sparkle on there. Okay, so you could add lots of different things on here, but I think that's going to be what I'm how I'm going to leave it for now. I haven't put another. You've got two sparkles on there, so I'm going to just pop a little one somewhere. Maybe there. Okay, so that's pinwheel in Berry Christmas. And if you missed it at the start, this is the one that I made with Merriest Trees and some beautiful speciality paper. I really love this one. In fact, I actually made some boxes. Um, made some boxes out of this material, this uh, DSP. So this one's really quite pretty. And this one, and then that one's with the white, and they do stack. Um, yeah, but they're they're quite nice sizes, so. Can fit quite a bit in them. Uh, this size one, there is a there is a demonstration on how to make this size, and they're all basically the same. It just dimensions are slightly different. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for today. There's two pinwheel cards. Obviously, I only made the one on. On the live everything's a bit messy now so I'll tidy back up and um, I'll hope to see you next week okay thanks for watching bye